it is awfully muggy out there. This afternoon we warm quickly. I think the actual air temperature reaches around 92 with a heat index in the mid to upper 90s remaining quite stuffy this evening. And this is just the beginning of what's going to be a prolonged heat wave that builds through the area. Ah. Speaking of the city, why don't you bring that up there, Rach? Oh, Go which, ahead. Which button? The green button. I can push the Let's button. Let's bring up the city. We're going to talk about the oh, headlines. Hey. There it oh. is. <laughs> Our weather has been brought to you by the letter H. Okay. We're yes. talking about high pressure, Joe. Yes. That, that, which is good. We love that. Next. Those folks should not be out there. Right? This is still a very, very powerful mm -hmm. storm. In fact, that last check, category two status, you can see the numbers here 105 mile per hour winds. Nothing to sniff at. 942 millibar moving north at 14 miles per hour. It's moving into the central part of the, of the peninsula. And you mentioned Tampa. It's not going to be long before those wraparound winds hit Tampa. That's going to fill those bays back up. In fact, uh, we're talking about the storm surge flooding of perhaps three to five feet in the Tampa area once that uh, center of that storm arrives. And for our thunder over Louisville plans, not looking too good on Saturday. Heavy rain, I think, is likely, and it's going to be a cool rain at that. Those temperatures stuck in the low 50s. We could start off the day and at times be in the upper 40s. So not only do you have to prepare for the rain, which could be heavy, but also be prepared for the cold as well. Temperature of 52 at 230, not really improving as the day goes on. A chance of rain healthy. We're hoping perhaps we can see the rain taper off a little bit for the fireworks show. But right now, not too optimistic for good weather at all. Look at all that sunshine. Hard to believe that we actually had a few showers across the area earlier this morning, but a cool front slipped through the area. It did bring just a little batch of showers right down that 65 corridor. It affected portions of the metropolitan area with a few tenths of an inch of rain, depending on your location. But quickly, that system out of here. We've got high pressure moving in from the north. And as a result, sunshine has returned, reporting a clear sky at the airport. Your 8 o'clock observation coming in at 63 degrees. The dew point's at 58, so it's a touch higher than it has been, but that too will change as we see a light north breeze developing across the area. That's going to allow that dew point to drop. Low humidity for the rest of the day today and brilliant sunshine out there. That temperature at noon today right around 72. We top out, I think, in town at around 80, but the rest of the area likely looking at mid to upper 70s. So gorgeous weather out there today. Take advantage of the brilliant day today and also the cool night we've got coming up tonight because it's going to be the last one for a while. Heat and humidity return in force for the end of the week. We'll talk about when to expect heat indices into the mid 90s and when you can expect thunderstorms in your backyard, Mike, coming up in just a few minutes. I think those temperatures continue to be on the move upwards, unfortunately, as we approach the holiday. It's going to be quiet tonight, though. Those temperatures out the door. I think most of the area in the mid 60s, perhaps upper 60s in town. More heat tomorrow. I think we're back to the lower 90s, but a dry forecast basically tomorrow. A sizzling hot 4th of July. I think we're now looking at middle 90 temperatures and the actual heat index could reach mid to upper 90s for the fourth. It will come with a storm chance, but it's not going to be a great one. I think for most of the area, it's going to remain pretty dry. Here's a look at your forecast for the actual holiday, your July 4 cast, if you will. 85 degrees, your noon temperature, and it gets all the way up to around 93 for a high. Heat index around 96, 97. When you factor in the humidity, that chance of an afternoon or early evening shower or storm, it'll be there. It just doesn't look like it's going to be all that great. About 20%, I think, for most of the area here for the holiday itself.